Hi guys and uh, welcome to the Swing Studio. We're inside today, it's horrible outside, wet and windy. Um, and today I'm going to look at chipping. A lot of my lessons recently have been really, really struggling with the short game and in particular the striking of the golf ball. You know, it's a shame because he's taking sort of two and three shots to get around the sort of the edge and the perimeter of the green. Um, but then taking far more shots to get from that position into the hole. So today I'm going to sort of look at some techniques and give you some help in how to strike the golf ball when you're chipping from just off the edge of the green. Now before we start it's important to know the difference between a chip and a pitch. The chip shot is generally played with a lower lofted club where the ball flies through the air, lands on the green and then rolls towards the hole. Whereas a pitch shot is usually played with a more lofted club such as this one, a, a sand wedge or a lob wedge. The ball spends more time in the air, lands on the green and stops reasonably quickly, hopefully near the hole. Um, but today we're going to be chipping, so I've, uh, I'm going to use a 7 iron for this, so I'm going to put this one to one side. Very, very basics of, of chipping to start off with. Uh, first of all, in your setup, uh, I would sort of try and go down the grip a little bit. That gives you a bit more control with the hands closer to the, to the club head. Also quite a narrow stance, because you're close to the green. Generally, the closer you are to the green, the narrower the stance. The further away, the wider the stance. That gives you a bit more stability with those bigger, faster swings, whereas the narrow stance will give you a little bit more control. Good setup here, good posture, nicely over the ball, and uh, I'm just pushing my hands forward so my left arm and shaft form a reasonably straight line to get the hands in front of the golf ball. That's to encourage a little bit more of a downward hit, which is one of the faults that I'm going to talk about today. Many, many players, when they're hitting their shots, will try and lift the golf ball up in the air. Okay, we'll do this sort of shot here, okay, where they scoop the ball up and the wrists play too much of a part in the swing. Um, we don't really want that at all in the swing because then you end up hitting the golf ball from the very bottom of the golf club and striking the golf ball from halfway up or even the top of the golf ball. There's no chance of you getting any loft on the club, there's no chance of you getting any control over that, that type of shot. The swing we really, really want to encourage is a swing where everything stays connected, where our body, arms and club are working together in the swing. And as I mentioned before, a slightly downward hit. Nobody really can hear that in my practice swings, but I'm just catching or just bouncing the, 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 sort of the sole of the club on the ground just where the ball would be. So as I mentioned before, a lot of players tend to use their wrists to try and scoop the golf ball, so they're losing that connection. So a really, really good drill, and I'm going to use my, uh, my sand wedge here, is to pop the club over the, the, the grip of the other one, like so. Okay, got it here, just get a nice hold on it, so that the, um, the, sort of the grip of the sand wedge is touching my side here, okay? It's really hard to grip the club, so I don't expect you to sort of be focusing on trying to hit good shots here. It's just get a good ha good grip on the, the golf club. We'll just get a, a ball here. Now, do a couple of practice swings first. We know when when sort of when you use the wrists, okay, when we use the wrist too much, we get that scoopy action. So that's what we're trying to stop. We're also trying to encourage a slightly more of a downward hit on the golf ball. Now, when we've got the club in this position with the sand wedge like it is here, if you use your wrist too much, you'll hit yourself on the side here with, with the top edge of the club. So it really encourages you to try and keep that connection between the arms, shoulders, and also the body as well in the swing. So a good setup here. We're not going to use our, our wrist. We're going to keep our arms going through. And you can see there, we didn't hit our side as much as perhaps if you were to do your sort of swing where you maybe use the wrist too much, okay, oh yeah, I feel that into my side there, so it will teach you uh, to sort of stop yourself doing that uh, if, you have, if you can practice with this, with this drill, and it's something you can perhaps do at home as well, uh, you don't really need to hit too many golf balls doing it, it's just to get the feel of, of keeping that connection and keeping the, the arms, club and body working together in the swing. Thank you. 
Okay, so hopefully that exercise has improved your swing. If you are one of those players that tends to use too much wrists in your chipping action. Um, one final thing to help improve the strike even more. Now, we know for a chipping shot that you've got to hit slightly down on the golf ball. And if you were one of those wristy players, then that exercise will help reduce that. But you still might not get to the bottom of the golf ball. So this exercise really helps you do that. It's dead straight, dead simple. All we're going to do, I'm going to find something on the map here. Now, I found a little stone here that I'm going to put just in front of the golf ball. About three inches in front of the golf ball. We land where we want to go. Now what I want to try and do with my swing is to hit the ball first, but then hit the stone just after the golf ball. What this does, it helps improve the strike, it helps focus your attention just on what's going on just after, because many players will tend to hit the ball and straight away come up to see where it's going and not complete swing. This exercise encourages that slightly more downward action, okay, that wants, is exactly what we want in the swing. So Try that now. There. And we hit the stone just after. Okay, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. That's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you improved your chipping and saved you a few shots on the golf course. If you have enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you've got any comments or questions, please comment below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you will get the videos as soon as I release them. Share as well on social media. Let your friends know about my channel. And hopefully it will save them a few shots too. Okay, I've got two shots. I'm going to try and uh, hit that bully bucket. Chip the ball towards that bully bucket. Let's see how we get on. Oh, that's close. One more. Hey, there we go. Okay, see you again next time.